Hello, I'm Igor Sandman. I'm a pixel artist. I make a pixel art every day. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today the theme is Ponyo. Actually, Pixel Daily is having a, a full week of, let me show you, a full week of uh, Ghibli, which is nice. It will be colorful, I guess. Nice picture by Gabe here. So, let's do this. As you can see, I've got two reference images. One is from the film. I haven't, I haven't watched the film, but I've seen a few trailers and whatnot. So I took this one because I like the pose and the attitude. And this is the picture I found when looking for work, work cycle uh, frames. And it's the exact same pose, so I'm going to use it as a side view. All right. I've got a lot of questions about colors, and I thought I would talk about that today. Uh, before I start, I should probably mention a few, thing, few, a few things. Um, you might wonder why I've, I've got a palette here and a palette there. It's because this is my old palette and I'm trying to change it. What I used to do is every time I, I light up a color somewhere, I would pick it and add it here and try it a f uh, for a while. And if I decide to keep it, I keep it. Otherwise, I just delete it. But after some time, I, got, I realized I got too many of them, you know. This is too much. And it goes all, it goes all over the place. The, the, the biggest problem is they don't match with each other. At first they did because there weren't too many colors, but as soon as you, st uh, when you reach a certain point and you have too many colors, the chances that one of your colors is not working with the others is growing higher and higher with time, you know? So uh, I decided to try and get a more constrained color palette, so I'm sure everything is working together. I went back to my favorite palette, uh, color palette, which is uh, the CNS88 by, uh, by Android. He's a great artist. I'm a fan, I'm a long time fan of his work. And this color palette is really great. I will put a link in the description to his palette. Um, most of this is based, most of, his, of these colors are from the CNS88 palette. Uh, I think, well, I know these, the browns and the gray and the greens are not from the same palette. I made them on my own because uh, the, the, the greens that he's using t t uh, tend to, to be shifted towards blue and I'm not a big fan of that. And his, his, his browns are shifted towards um, orange which is not a thing that I particularly like. It's not a bad thing, it's just that I don't like it. I also know that this yellow was mine. It's not from his palette. Otherwise, pretty much everything is from there. They work very well together. And that the thing, the thing that I learned with this problem with my palette was that uh, the, the, oops, Choosing the right color is not choosing the right color in itself. It's, it's relative to other colors that you want to use. So, yeah, that's why I, I'm, I'm trying to stick to his palette as much as possible. And when I don't like a color, I change it. All right, so I should probably start, otherwise this won't be done ever. I start with big shapes. What else should I say about the colors? What I try to do when I add a new color is to figure out a series of color. If I decide to add, to add a brown, I won't just add one, one brown. I will try to get like three browns, like these three. And sometimes I, I add a fourth one, but I, t I pick a dark, 
a dark one, a medium one, and a light one. An important thing is to have the value, sh the, 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 the hue shift from the dark to the dark one to the lighter one. If you, if you look at these, you can see the hue here. And obviously it's not the right example. I'm, not, I'm, I'm varying the, the saturation on this one. I'm pretty sure these are moving in use. Yeah, you see? The U is, is shifting over time. This one is going from a blue, bluer tone to a yellower one. And it's good that I did this because I just realized that my browns are not shifting enough, so I should rework them a little bit. Anyways, let's move on. So in the post down here, I see that the chest is forward. So I try and do that. You know what? I was too distracted when talking, so I will do it over quickly. I realize I didn't like the shape of the air and I need to get the body first because before I I go into that. So let's do this. See now I can see that I should go higher up here over the shoulder. It's working better for me. Something like this maybe. Actually, yeah. It should go like this. Something like this maybe. Yeah. Um, the pants. I like white material because it's a great opportunity to play with uh, strong colored shadows you know on this red if I if I use a colored shadow I would probably use this but it's not as obvious as when you do it with white and blue and I, that's why I like white, white material and I should probably start with white and get the shadow later that's one thing when you are trying to shade your when you are shading your your object your subject you can either start with the light and go to the towards the shadow or the other way around it's a matter of taste And I use both. I don't focus just on one. Depends. So what should I do? This will be the shoulder on our side, which means this is the back leg. Right? Because if this arm is in front and not in the back, it could be both. Right now it's just a silhouette, so it could be both. So I need to decide which, which leg. The opposite leg is going to be forward, and that is this one. Probably something like this will work. So this arm I'll do it with the shadow colors for now shadow sh shadow color for now it should be something like like this and the back arm thing like this 
I think it's working. All right. Mm. So the front leg, the front leg is going to be extended forward. I'm going to use this brush to make fat legs like that. I like it. It's, it's uh, it adds to the. I like to, to have her look a little bit chubby. It's, it's more appealing. Hmm. I should probably start working. Well, let's finish the leg. Nah. This one will just be like this, I think. We'll see. I'll come back to that one later. What else should I say about colors? Hmm. I, uh, one thing is, uh, when thinking about colors, it's always important. I already said that, but I think I should extend a little bit, a little bit on it. Uh, one color is nothing. It, it's only working depending on what's next to it. So here, for instance, this is my skin color. I view it myself as the shadow color of my skin, but you don't know yet because you don't, you don't see what. I know what I will do next, but you don't. So. And the, the, the shift will, the, the, sh the, the hue will shift when I start working like this, you know, as you can see. So I, I, I put a lot of effort into making sure my colors work well together rather than having nice colors on their own. I should work on the, on the air. I'm not sure what to do with her hair. Yeah, I should probably go very light. I want her to be recognizable, but I must confess I don't feel very confident with the, the hairstyle. Because it's short hair, it's not easy to do with pixel art. This works, but it's not, it's far from perfect. I will probably struggle a little bit with it, but it's okay. I'll put the eyes on, so that would probably help me. And the mouth. She looks silly. I don't know, I don't feel it, something's wrong. One thing that's I, I usually don't use this as a shadow color, and that's why it's a bit complicated for me. Usually I, I use this one, but I wanted to use it on the, on the cloth, so I'm trying a new color for the face. I will remove the mouse. It makes, it makes it look a little bit silly. Also, a lot of time I'm squinting at my picture like this because it helps you. It's a painter technique. Technique. 
it helps you differentiate your values easier you can try on your own paintings you'll see it's, easy, it's the kind of thing that's easy to understand when you do it on your own that's too long what should I do I don't like the arm either. This is probably much better. I kind of want to. I want to add the the bucket that I that she has for the nice touch of color on the picture. So I should I shouldn't worry too much about the hand uh, unless I tr I decide to put the the bucket here. But it would be better here. I should do it now actually. Yeah, this works. I'm making my shape in separate areas and then I'm connecting them. Not very happy with this. Let's see. Yeah. Right now, there are a lot of areas that I'm not very f a fan of, and I need to decide what I want to do about it. Mainly, there is the hair, and yeah, I, apart from the hair, I think I'll be fine. The rest, I can modify it, nothing important. I like it. And about the air, I'm sure I would be fine. It won't be a problem. I like how it's turning out. I'll put a shadow down below so she's more grounded. Something like this. I don't, oops. I don't know if I should try and put shadow on the legs because it's very graphic right now and I like it. Unless maybe I do this. No, that's too much. I, sh I think I should let it, I should leave it like this, or maybe try to shadow this part. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is working. Yeah, like this. It's fine. Nice. I like it. I like the contrast. And that's one thing. This this palette by Arne, it's uh, very contrasty. When I first tried to use it, you know, I was looking at this hard. I did hard, and uh, I uh, I wanted to to use this color palette. I liked it, but I didn't know how to use it. it. Took me a while to realize that it's just because it's contrasty, and you gotta commit to it. And speaking of contrast, maybe I should try to make the skin much brighter, the the light color much brighter. See, that probably helps a lot. What if I did this? Would it be better? Nah, I like this. This is the kind of eyes that I usually do and I it's it always works for for me. Yeah, it's working great. I like it. So what else should I do now? Probably, well, one quick thing. I want to try and push the the hands further back. Not sure. Nah, I think it's good. I will. the The pose is not perfect. I realize I need to get the ends a bit lower. Yeah, I like this should work. So the dreaded hair, I need to do it now. I cannot avoid it forever. And I want to work on the bucket also. Probably, I should probably start over from scratch, right? It's not looking very good right now. The shape is weird, it's not understandable. All right, for the hair, I should try things. What if... Oh, I think I know what I should do. Let me think. Again, I need to think of a combination of colors because I rely heavily on that to make my shape read. So I think I need to use, well, maybe it's this one. If I used orange on this one to light it, I think it would, it would work on my favor, but maybe I should push the contrast a little bit, mo a little bit more and do this instead. Nah. This is what I need to do. I need to, oh, well, this one is going to be in the back. And this is in front. I think I should use the hair the hair to to show the movement like I used the uh, the cloth here to show the movement should probably do the same the same with the strands of hair it's not too far from what I need actually That's better. Oops.
this should go all the way up, right? It's funny how changing the face actually make the hair work better. <laughs> it's a good thing actually. Is it better like this? No, I like it this way. And I will even push it further maybe by adding well, it's not really obvious. You can't see it. I wanted to add, uh, to add some sheen to the face, to the skin. But I'm already pretty light right here, so white wouldn't even show on it. All right. I like the, the flow of the hair. It's working nice. But I'm not really happy with the shape of this one. What could I do to improve it? Yeah, I like it. All right. The ugly bucket. I will, I will simply delete everything and start from scratch. The colors could be working, but I'm not even sure about that. So if I want it, you know what? I should probably have it in this angle. Wait. Could be like this, could be like this, could be like this. I'm just getting a feel of the flow right now. I don't know. I think like this would be better, but I'm not entirely sure. Should I make should I make a big bucket or smaller one? Should I exaggerate the shape? Maybe. And for the inside of the bucket, I'm using another color, you know. I've got this teal color right next to my green. And to emphasize the blue in the shadow, I'm I'm using this one. You see, I could just shade it with my standard green, but it looks flatter. If I do this, it brings depth to it. And the reason why I explained this on Twitter, because someone talked about the fact that blue, shadow, blue shadows work nicely, and explain, I explained why. And actually, it's uh, because of the the light, you know, you have one light, one big light source coming from over here, right? It's making this lighter than this, for instance. But the shadow also receives receives light, but it's not this light source. It's a reflection from the, the the sky, right? The 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 light from the sun is going to the sky and reflecting on all the all the, the particles in the sky and reflecting everywhere. And they are most obvious in the shadow, obviously. Because the light from the sun is burning out this area. And the only thing that hits here is the light from the sky. And the light from the sky is tinted blue because the sky is blue. Which is why shadows always tend to be slightly shifted toward blue. It's, it's especially obvious on white. Because it's so bright and... Uh, that uh, the, the shadow takes a lot of color. All right, so I like the bucket. I, I think I could push the, the shape a little bit by doing this.
or should I? I'm not even sure. Maybe I should just do a rim call, a rim like like this. It's probably better. A bit like I did here. All right. So now I need to make the handle. It's not going to work. Not if I do it like this. I should probably get this lower. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. It's nice. Kind of like it. Right now it doesn't look very round, right? Not sure why. It looks like a bag. And I want it to have a strong shape, stronger shape than this. Is it because of the handle? I try and remove it. No, it's not because of the handle. This is a little bit better. It's not too annoying, right? That it looks a bit flat. It's not too bad, but I think I can do something about it. Looks even more like a bag. Sometimes you struggle with your shapes like that. I think I should just leave it like this. I'll try without this rim light and start from there. Eventually, I will find out what's wrong. Actually, like this, is, it works much better. What if I try to create a stronger shadow? Like this. Hmm. Kind of like it. And what if I get back to this? Or well, maybe, oops. Rounder shape tends to be more uh, shiny. So maybe I should try and just give it a, a highlight like this. I don't know, I'm experimenting right now. Yeah, I think a highlight, a highlight like this is working better. Kind of like it. Trying to find the right spot though. This was, this was the right spot actually. All right. I like it. 
I don't know if you guys have questions, specific, more specific questions about colors or about anything, but if you guys have any, leave a comment down below or come talk to me on the social media and I will try to talk about it next time. I like, I like how all the comments that you, you guys are leaving allow me to know what I'm, I should talk about. It's great. And I realize a, a lot of questions are, a lot of the same kind of question are coming in. So there's probably things that all of you want to know, or most of you, I guess. I'm trying to find things that I could improve. I think I should leave this one very simple, right? Like this. It's funny. I like the character, the design is really great. It's simple and efficient. I like it. I think I will leave it like this. I think it's okay. It turned out great. And I'm looking forward to the next topics because all the design that we are going to work on this week will be great because Ghibli, Studio Ghibli is really good at that. Centering my sh my image. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for st for uh, for coming. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye.